Today, uh, we're going to spend a few moments in the Word of God together. And uh, I just want to bring a word of encouragement to our heart. Uh, two things that have been highlighted as far as personal struggles uh, during the pandemic. And of course, now uh, in, this, in the second wave, it's, it's even more uh, significant. And one is that of fear. The second thing, of course, is a, a sense of hopelessness. What I want us to just uh, state at the very beginning, and then we will expand on it a little bit, little bit as we journey through this message, is that uh, we must be people of faith and fortitude. Faith and fortitude. And I want to spend some time talking about both these traits or attributes or things that you and I must walk in. Faith is that powerful antidote to fear. So fear and faith are opposites. If I am not in faith, it's very likely that I can give in to fear in my life. Psalm 27 verse 1 and 2. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of what will I be afraid? So you put your faith in the Word of God. You put your trust in the Word of God. And I'm just quoting some of the scriptures. That, you know, we could go to many scriptures from the Bible. But the point I want to make is we must go to the Word of God because faith is birthed out of that. So during this season, make every effort to keep faith, fear out of your life by going to the Word of God and nurturing your faith with the Word of God. Also, Part of walking by faith is renewing our mind. To renew our mind simply means we choose to think aligned to the ways and thoughts of God rather than the ways and the thoughts of the world. The next thing I want to deal with is the sense of hopelessness, um, the, uh, the, the sense of despair, uh, the giving up of the fight in us to rise up and out of the circumstance and situation. And we must combat this sense of hopelessness with fortitude. Fortitude is the mental and emotional strength to be courageous in the face of adversity. Waiting on God builds fortitude. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You know, a beautiful example of waiting on the Lord is in that very familiar story of Mary and Martha that we find in Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. What Mary did is a beautiful illustration for us of what it takes to wait on the Lord. You know, uh, let me just put it up in I'll put it out in these seven statements. Number one, from verse 39, waiting on him involves sitting and listening. Number two, don't let much serving distract you from waiting. Number three, from verse 41, don't let many things cause you to be worried and troubled. Number four, keep one thing, waiting on him as the main thing. Fifthly, choose the good part. Waiting on God is a good part. Number six, you know, when Martha said, Lord, send Mary here. Jesus didn't say, Mary, get up, go help Martha. He didn't do that. He said, in fact, he turned it around. He said, you know what? What she's chosen, I will not take away. That means Jesus will never drive you away from waiting on him to serving him. He knows how important waiting is. In fact, he draws you and me to wait on him. And lastly, serving him, of course, is important. Serving him will come after waiting on him. So understand these few things here about waiting, because as we wait upon the Lord, you're building your fortitude. And also, I want to let us know, knowing your purpose in God inspires fortitude. When you're clear about your purpose, it inspires you. It gives you mental and uh, emotional strength 
to stay courageous. Clarify your purpose. Keep your eyes on God's purpose for your life. You know, one of the things that we must ask ourselves is this. In the light of God's purpose for my life, what does this season demand from me? Or you can put it this way. A question that I ask myself and I remind myself when I think like this, how will the things I do in this season contribute towards the purpose of God for my life? So whatever I put my hands into in this season must stay aligned to the overall purpose of God for my life. So ask yourself this question and begin to journey through this season with a sense of purpose.